Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we will learn to create a liquid style logo reveal animation in After Effects without using any plugins. This tutorial is inspired from one of the video hive template by Aurora Media Labs, link to which is in the description below. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Now before we start today's video, I just want to quickly tell you guys about my very own Gaze Graphics Pack. Link is in the description. The pack now comes with Atomex extension and over 4500 plus ready to use animations saving you a lot of time. Using the pack is super easy. Open your project composition, browse the animation that you like using the Atomex extension and just click on apply. Boom, you are good to go. You can even use the customizer inside the extension to edit your animations. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. Giz Graphics Pack comes equipped with 22 different categories which include 230 plus slideshows and typography animations, 400 plus transitions, 650 plus titles and lower thirds, 60 plus logo animations, animated devices, infographics, color filters, social media animations, shape elements, text and animation presets, sound effects and a lot more. So grab your copy today of the Gaze Graphics Pack version 5 powered by Atomix extension. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to go with 2560 by 1440, that is 2K. You can of course go with 1920 by 1080, that is Full HD or 4K if you want to. Let's call this render as a main render comp. The duration is set to 10 seconds and frame rate is set to 30, so that is fine. Press OK. Then let's create another new composition. This time I'm going to change the width and height to 1700 by 1700. So we have a square composition. Let's call this logo here. So this is going to be our logo placeholder where we can drag and drop in any logo that we want. I'm going to simply type in a text. So let's select the text tool. And for the font, I'm using the Chekhov bold. I have mentioned the link in the description. So you can download the same font and let's type in a text like fluids. It's a really cool font, by the way. Let's increase the size. Now let's create another new composition. I'll call this logo drop animation. And change the width and height to 2560 by 2560. Press OK. Then I can turn on the title action safe. Press Ctrl R to bring up the rulers and drag the guides. Let's place this one in the center like so. Then I can select the rectangle tool and we just need the fill. So I'll create a shape like so. Okay, let's go into the rectangle path one and make sure it's set to 2560. So that is fine and I'll just properly align this. So that is fine and I'll drag a ruler right here. So we get a center of this particular area and now, and now we can delete this shape and hide the rulers. So now we have these nice guides. Now let's drag the logo here composition and animate this. So let's go to around five seconds. I'll drag this one right here in the center like so. Press P to bring down the position, select the position, right click and let's separate the dimensions. We only need the Y position. So I'll create a keyframe right here. Press R to bring down the rotation and create a keyframe and then I can press U so we can see the properties with the keyframes. Now let's come back to around one second. I'll set the rotation to minus 45. Let's drag this a bit up like so go all the way at the very start and pull this out of the frame like so. 
so now we have something like this let's select these two keyframe of the position and press f9 to easy ease them go into the graph editor and make sure you're working in the edit value graph i'll select this point and let's drag this and try to create a smooth curve right here i'll drag this one like so all right that is looking good then i'll select the rotation keyframes press f9 to ease ease them go into the graph and let's drag this handle like so and this one a little bit like that okay so that is looking very nice and smooth i think yep that is looking fine now let's create another new composition this is going to be logo drop and this time i'm going to change the height to 1440 and press ok let's drag the logo drop animation right here and align this like so so we can simply align this from the align section if you don't see this align tab you can find them under windows align which is out of the frame right now all right so now we have something like this which looks very nice now let's create another new composition let's call this air bubble and press ok drag the logo drop composition inside this and now we will so now we add the main effects which are necessary to achieve that nice liquid effect so this can get a little complex from here so make sure you stay focused and follow each and every step carefully so first i'll select the composition right click and go into layer styles and let's add a bevel and emboss let's make some room right here go into the bevel and emboss section let's change the style from inner bevel to let's go with pillow emboss let's increase the size to around 60 i'll change the angle to 60 degrees and this one to 60 degrees as well let's change the highlight mode to normal and i'll add a nice blue color to this so something like so and change the shadow mode to screen and bring down the opacity to zero and let's bring up the opacity of this one to 100 then select the layer press t to bring down the opacity and let's set this to around 50 percent let's drag the time indicator to one second and 20 frames create a keyframe i'll go to around six seconds and um, set this to zero now let's go into effects and presets and search for mini max double click to apply this effect and increase the radius all the way up to 1000 set the channel to alpha and color and set the direction to just vertical so now we have something like this so to adjust the position now i can add a transform effect here so i'll go into effects and presets search for transform double click to apply this again let's adjust the position from right here now to keep this properly in center i need to adjust this and to be a bit more precise i, I can drag the logo drop on top of this and then select this and try to match the same position like so so it goes along properly okay so now i can delete this we can close these two effects let's go into effects and presets and search for turbulence displays double click to apply that i'll set this to around 25 should be good let's go to two seconds and create a keyframe on the amount go to seven seconds and um, set this to zero now let's go into effects and presets again search for an effect called mac choker double click to apply that increase the geometric softness to around 40 let's bring down the choke one to all the way up to minus 127 that's the limit set the geometric softness to 40 as well and bring down the choke to to minus 27 and let's bring down the gray level softness to to around 10 percent all right so now i'm going to animate the choke one and choke two so i'll go to two seconds create a keyframe on choke one choke two go to six seconds and set this to zero and this one to zero as well so now we have something like this let's set this to off final quality and yeah let's also add a nice ripple effect on this so i'll go into effects and presets search for ripple double click to apply that I'll increase the radius to around 75, increase the wave speed to 2, increase the wave height to 100 and bring down the wave height to 10. So we have a little bit of ripple effect going on. Now let's go ahead and add some color to this. So I'll 
search for fill effect double click to apply this and i'll go with a nice um nice blue color i think something like this one and then the final effect that we want to add here is the linear wipe double click i'll set the transition completion to 45 percent and set the angle to 160 degrees so it aligns properly with our uh, logo or the text that we have here let's increase the feather to around i don't know maybe 350 or something oh that is too much let's go with 340 let's create a keyframe on the transition completion wipe whip angle and the feather as well press u so we can see it go to six seconds set the transition completion to 80 angle to 180 degrees and the feather to 500 so now we have something like this now let's duplicate this so press ctrl d to duplicate it let's get rid of the fill first of all and the linear wipe as well let's delete the ripple i'll close the minimax and the transform and the turbulence displacement let's make some changes to the matte choker so i'll go to two seconds bring down the geometric softness to 20 set the choke one to 25 bring down the geometric softness 2 to 20 as well and set this one to 25 as well press u so we can see the keyframes let's go to six seconds let's get rid of these keyframes let's bring down the geometric softness to 20 let's set the choke 1 to 25 and choke 2 to 25 as well set the geometric softness 2 to 20 as well and then select the track mat of this first layer that we created and set this to alpha inverted so we have something like this pretty cool now if you don't see this track mat option you can simply press f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible and then press t get rid of the opacity keyframes and set this to 100 so we have a basic cutout like this so far so good now let's create some small bubbles to make this even more realistic so let's create another new composition let's call this small bubbles press ok drag the logo drop composition here so we have this go into effects and presets and search for cc particle system 2 double click to apply that let's place the time indicator to one second and set the birth rate to around 15 create a keyframe i'll go to three seconds and set this to zero set the longevity to five I'll go into particle first of all and set the particle type to bubbles. Let's bring down the birth size to 0 0.05 and death size to 0 0.05 as well. Increase the max opacity all the way up to 100 and set the opacity map to fade in and out. Then let's go into the producer. Increase the radius X to 98 and radius Y to 100 go into physics set the animation to 12 bring down the velocity to 0 and let's set the gravity to minus 0 0.1 then go into particle and make sure this is checked that is source alpha inheritance so click on that so it generates particle only through the alpha of our text so that is looking quite nice i think let's quickly add a fill on this and make it white so that is looking quite nice i think all right now let's duplicate this press ctrl d select the bottom one i'll press u i'll go right here and let's bring down the birth rate to around i don't know maybe something like eight then go into effects and presets search for fast box blur double click to apply that and let's change the blur radius to around 5 and also i'll play around with the random seed of the particle section so now we have a bit more detail as you can see we have some faded particles as well which creates a sense of depth all right so our small bubbles are also ready 
now finally i have a ready-made liquid transition here basically a track mat so let's drag that into its own new composition and that's the liquid transition as you can see let's add some nice color to this so i can go into effects and presets search for a gradient ramp double click to apply that i'll place this right here maybe and place this one right over here let's give it a nice blue color all right so that is looking quite nice i think now let's go back to our main render com and let's build our complete scene so first of all i'll press ctrl y to create a new solid this is going to be our background so let's name this bg press ok search for gradient ramp again and this time i'm gonna go with radial blur let's place this right here and let's bring that out like so let's give it a nice blue color tone on top of this i'll add the liquid transition comp so let's drag and drop it right here press s and let's scale this down like so also one more thing that we have to do here in the liquid comp you can see we have a little bit of anti-aliasing issues so to fix this let's select this and quickly add a fast box blur on this so let's go into effects and presets so it's for fast box blur apply that and let's set this to around maybe eight should be fine now the edge of the background is kind of getting blend with the water effect so i'll change the color a little bit i think something like this it looks much better i think let's go into project again drag the logo drop on top of this so we have something like this and let's give it a nice color so i'll go into effects and presets for fill double click to apply this and i'll just pick with a simple blue color with a lighter tone like so so that is looking nice then i'll add the air bubble composition on top i'll select the liquid transition press ctrl d to duplicate it place it on the top of this and change the track mat of this layer to alpha mat so now we have something which looks like this which is looking very cool i think and then i will add some small bubbles so that enhances the complete look i can obviously add a nice fill on this one as well and let's pick up the same colors as our text so they look much more realistic all right let's duplicate the logo drop again place it on the top and duplicate the liquid transition place that one on the top as well select the logo drop and this time i'm going to make this white color and change this to alpha matte and change this to alpha inverted and now we have something like this i think it's looking pretty cool or maybe i'll change the liquid transition color a little bit all right this color is looking much better i think and on the logo drop i'll make this a bit more brighter and as you can see there we have our cool liquid style logo animation or logo reveal now the best part about this is it's completely editable so i can jump anytime into the logo your placeholder i can maybe change the font i can change the text so i can maybe call this liquid and let's select a different font and boom there we go so as you saw we have covered a lot of different techniques and effects throughout this complete tutorial and if you're still watching this make sure to like this video it will motivate me to create more such amazing tutorials for you and if you want to create some more complex logo animation here i have a complete playlist that you can check it out and if you are very new to after effects then make sure to check out my full-fledged after effects course for beginners first link in the description with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out